Hey everybody, here we have Windows 10 22H2 installed in this compact Presario V6000 laptop from 2006. So if we look at the specs on this, we have an AMD Turion 64X2 TL50 CPU 1.6 GHz. We have four gigabytes of memory. We have the NVIDIA GeForce 6150 graphics. Um, this is a GeForce Go, I'm assuming. <laughs> so um, in the previous video, of course, um, I'll go ahead and put a card up in the upper right corner. I set up Windows 10 on this thing and I had to force install the driver like I did on Windows 11. So it's kind of questionable if we even have the right driver for this, for the graphics. But um, anyways, we also have a 256GB SOLS 8 drive, so the SSD eliminates the hard drive as a bottleneck, so the performance that you're going to see will solely be based off of the CPU and the RAM and the GPU performance. So in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to, like in the Windows 11 video, we'll do some web browsing, video playback. And also, um, we will do a time test on how long it takes for this thing to start up. So, we'll start out with Chrome. And yes, there is the Activate Windows watermark there because this thing does not have a digital license. So anyways, we're going to start by, well, of course... I love how Cube Cure Company comes up in the Google search results. So here's Cube Cure Channel. So web browsing really isn't that bad on this thing. Um, but YouTube, though, is a bit slow. But then again, this is a 17 year old laptop. So, I mean, the fact that we're browsing. The modern web on a computer that came with Windows XP pre-installed. I mean, dang. <laughs> of course, we aren't running the stock specs. We do have, of course, the RAM increase as well as, of course, the solid state drive. But so what we'll do is we will look up a specific video. And we will test out playback here. Right now it's at 480. We'll go ahead and up that to 720. In case you're wondering, yes, even the activation watermark will show up when you're at full screen and videos and apps and all that good stuff. Let's say you recently got your new smartphone and your new type of smartphones. You may notice that the phone comes preloaded. The speakers on this thing, with a bunch of apps. they, uh, for example, don't sound the best. They probably sounded better back when this thing was new. So, video playback is choppy, you can see. That's at 720p. I mean, back when this laptop was manufactured, YouTube, I think the best you could do back then was 480p, if not 360p. I mean, 2006, that was the year, I believe it was the year that YouTube got bought by Google. <laughs> to put in perspective how old this thing is. So even 480p is uh, choppy. This thing, to be honest, doesn't seem to play video much better than a netbook does. So, yeah. It's uh, pretty laggy, but for web browsing, I mean, it's doable. It's uh, not terrible. It's definitely not the fastest out there, but uh, it's definitely not terrible. For example, let's uh, try the same thing in Firefox.
I love the keyboards on these older laptops. They feel much more like a regular keyboard than the garbage that you have on these newer laptops. To me, it seems like Firefox is just a tad bit slower than Chrome. But overall, it seems like both web browsers are performing faster on Windows 10 on this laptop than they did with Windows 11. Which isn't really surprising at all. Except, of course, Firefox is rendering stuff a little differently. At least I think are different from browser to browser. You may have seen how I had to scroll way down to get this specific video here, but on Firefox, it's number two on the list. It's like YouTube's search or channel search is just random. Totally random. So let's try the same thing we just tried over on Chrome. Definitely some lag here. Heard some sound, but uh, not sure what's going on with the video player. It's uh, kind of, well, not doing much of anything. Just spinning the, uh, the endless wheel there. Let's try refreshing the page. Yeah, again, you can hear uh, something playing in the background, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm not the biggest fan of Firefox, although I do use Firefox as a second browser, it does seem that Firefox on older hardware just runs really slow. Let's try this again. Okay, at least we got something this time. Let's try 720p, even though we know it's going to be terrible. And of course, YouTube wanting to push their TV service again. Even though your local cable company may have TV service for cheaper. You can see kind of same thing again where it's uh, playing but not playing. Yeah, that's... Uh, so yeah, Chrome definitely wins over Firefox here, I'm afraid. I know some of y'all prefer Firefox over Chrome, but... Yeah, Google Chrome is definitely the clear winner on this machine. And I imagine the same would be said for Edge, but I don't even bother trying Edge on this thing. So, um... Not really going to go too much into detail on here. And of course, it's got all the preloaded junk. You know, I used to be critical of, of computer manufacturers years ago for preloading loads of junkware on their computers and if I remember to, I'll put a card in the corner of an old video from probably 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago, making fun of a brand new HP desktop I unboxed for a neighbor, going through the setup process of how you would get it fresh out of box, and it was just slammed full of junk. But now, of course, Microsoft has... Uh, They've stepped on that bandwagon with Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows 11 by preloading a bunch of uh, all these apps. Sometimes I call them kitty apps because sometimes they're not very useful stuff or apps. But yeah, they, you get lots of junk even when you clean install the OS and it's like it's ridiculous. So, that being said, I think now we're going to do a uh, time test here. So like on Windows 11, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my stopwatch. 
which by the way that time there was I think I think that was the startup time for this machine running Windows 11 in fast startup so we shall see how this thing does with Windows 10 so this restart and startup will be the regular startup and then once it starts up we'll then try shutting everything down and then turning it on which will give us the fast startup I'll try to do the best I can here So about 55 seconds. I can't remember exactly what the time was for Windows 11, but I do think Windows 10 edged out Windows 11 slightly, at least slightly. So that being said, let's go ahead and uh, do a restart here, or excuse me, shut down. That way we'll get the fast start up. So I think the time was 36 seconds to beat for Windows 11 fast startup. Okay, start it back up. Oh, uh, so it's a tad bit delayed there on tapping start. Oh, it's very, very close. So about 38 seconds. Yeah, very close. <laughs> there you have it. Um, I think Windows 10 fast startup was a, was just a tad bit slower. Now, of course, this is this is not a very scientific test. I mean, the setups are close. I mean, just a clean install with Firefox and Chrome installed nothing more really than that but I mean there you have it so Windows 10 definitely would be a better choice for this old thing and of course for one that does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class most its requirements on Windows 11 which the reason why I call those the Elite Class system requirements really has to do with Windows 11 being deemed uh, not supported on computers made in 2017 for example now computers of this age not being um, not meeting the requirements well that's 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 more fair because we definitely ran into problems with Windows 11 on this thing um, it was glitchy it uh it did blue screen on us at least one time one time I caught it on video but even Windows 10 it's kind of glitchy on this thing I think part of it could be due to um, lack of driver support or just the fact that this thing is so old and these machines were notorious for motherboard failures and this one here could be right on the edge of failing who knows I mean dang <laughs> there's no telling so anyways uh, that was Windows 10 you know, browsing the web and doing a startup test on this old thing this compact Presario V6000 from 2006 I mean, 2006, that was the year that QQ company became a thing. I was only 15 years old then. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from QQ channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cube Comp MTDX. Over there, you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.